if samples or sample sets are to be measured again and again with precisely defined settings, it makes sense to save all the parameters in the Standard Operation Procedure, or SOP. This prevents the corresponding settings from having to be entered manually again and again and improves the ease of use of the SITAVIEW instrument. Basically, all parameters for the measurement mode, post-acquisition parameters, optional parameters for the scatter and fluorescence mode, as well as pre-acquisition parameters can be saved in an SOP. To call up an already saved SOP, click on the drop-down menu and select the name of the corresponding SOP. As soon as the SOP is clicked, it appears in the window of the drop-down menu and you can see a green light. This green light indicates that the selected SOP is now active. A measurement is now carried out with the settings saved in this SOP. If at least one parameter is changed in a selected and activated SOP, the green light turns red. The corresponding SOP is still selected, but not active anymore. A subsequent measurement is now carried out with the adjusted parameters, but not with those of the SOP. If you want to reload an already selected but inactive SOP, click on Reload. The green light indicates that the selected SOP is now active again. A new SOP can be created regardless of whether another SOP is selected or activated or not. First, adjust all parameters for your measurement. After all settings have been made, click on Save Current Settings as New SOP. Enter a name for the new SOP and press Enter on your keyboard. Then press OK to save the SOP. As soon as the new SOP is saved, it is already selected and activated in the drop-down menu, indicated by the green light. To update an existing SOP with different settings, first change the desired parameters. The green light turns red, but the SOP is still selected. Then click the Update SOP button and confirm the message. By confirming the message, the parameters of the original SOP will be overwritten and saved. After the update, the SOP is activated. Optionally, a further description can be added to an existing SOP. To delete an SOP, it must be selected in the drop-down menu. Then click on the button Delete SOP. Sometimes it is useful to compare the settings made manually in the Measurement Main menu with those parameters of a currently selected SOP. In this example you can see that the parameters in the Measurement Main menu are now covered by the SOP software interface. In order to quickly compare the current settings with those of the selected SOP, press the Read Current button. Now, all parameters from the Measurement Main menu are visible. By toggling between the buttons Read Current and Reload, you can compare the settings in the Measurement Main menu with those in the SOP menu. It's easy peasy!